Your name is? Arya King. What's your uh, role? Your title? Uh, a councilman in the municipality of Jerusalem. In the municipality of Jerusalem, there's been a lot of talk about the United States moving its embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Many presidents have talked about it. No one has done it. What's happening now? What's happening is that uh, at last, and thank God I will say, um, the, president, uh, the, pre the present president of the United States, uh, Donald Trump, is not just, a, uh, just talking about uh, moving. Practically, if you go to the site uh, in Jerusalem, uh, you will see already the building exists. There is an embassy that is built, is today already with uh, uh, people for, uh, from the staff of the uh, United States uh, consulate mm -hmm. already working there. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the only thing we need to wait now to May 14 to change the sign outside from consulate to uh, embassy. And uh, this is a, a great thing for us uh, as uh, citizens of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. for me as a, a politician, in the local politician in Jerusalem, mm -hmm. it's a, I think, I, I, I explain it, I'm, I, I, uh, I explain this message mm -hmm. of uh, your president that, uh, that we should and we are allowed on, and we should, I would say, start an active, an act in Jerusalem like uh, Balabite, like the owner of Jerusalem, meaning we should build wherever we want, mm -hmm. we should enforce the law like we should have do, done that already years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm still waiting to see a uh, change in the policy, in the government policy, in the municipality policy, uh, in favor of, uh, of what is good to the Jewish people in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So traditionally, there have been lots of Arabs working at the consulate in Jerusalem. Does this mean more jobs for Arabs only, or there'll be Jews working there too? It's a good question. It's the first time somebody is asking me a question like that, but I can tell you, I was there um, two weeks ago, and I was surprised also about that. Meaning, I remember the, the consulate that was in, uh, in the, the previous location, mm -hmm in East Jerusalem, mm -hmm. um, really at this location, 99% of the workers were Arabs. Mm -hmm. At my last visit at the new location, I can tell you that I, uh, I saw just Jews. I don't know what it means. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is just outside and inside is something different. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was surprised in a, uh, in a positive way to see that there is also a change uh, in this uh, aspect, uh, in the mm -hmm. uh, employer, employers, mm -hmm. in the consulate, in the, in the new location. Mm -hmm. And what does this new location mean for the business of uh, the commerce of Jerusalem? I don't think it uh, mean a lot in, the, in this aspect of commerce and the business matter of, of Jerusalem. If it would stay just the American embassy and maybe now the Guatemala embassy we hear about and the, the Czechs also are talking about it, mm -hmm. uh, it's not yet what we, I think, would change the, the commerce and will, uh, will uh, affect the business in Israel, in mm -hmm. Jerusalem. But mm -hmm. if it's uh, just the beginning of a wave, mm -hmm. or maybe I would say a tsunami, mm -hmm. of, uh, and we will see, let's say, uh, 10 and 20 embassies in the next five years, moving to Jerusalem, mm -hmm. this is, would be a big uh, issue uh, in all aspects. Uh, first, in the international, international way of looking about Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Secondly, also even in the, uh, in the business aspect, because uh, as we know, uh, consulates and the uh, embassies are bringing a lot of uh, activity around them, mm -hmm. uh, legal issues, uh, uh, tourist issues, mm -hmm. and uh, once all of this activity will move from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, mm -hmm. I see a lot of people also moving and living in, in Jerusalem because of that, and uh, it's something that uh, I hope that will happen. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm, I'm in this aspect, I'm, I'm optimist. I think that this is another uh, something good that uh, Donald Trump, as the president of, Jer of the United States, did. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I said uh, at the council, councilman in Jerusalem, I, uh, I suggested that we should, uh, uh, in order to uh, acknowledge this important thing that he did, 
and uh, this uh, historical move mm -hmm. uh, by uh, giving him a name, a street uh, name mm -hmm. in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. For example, we have a street, very famous street in Jerusalem with the name of King George. Mm -hmm. King George was an anti-Semitic person. <laughs> Who cares about King George? Why he deserved so important street in the middle of Jerusalem? Mm -hmm. The answer for that is that this name was given by the British in the British mandate. Oh. But people forget that we are already more than 70 years without the British uh -huh. here in the area. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's time to acknowledge the people that are in our side, mm -hmm. that supported it, supporting mm -hmm. us or uh -huh. supported us. Uh -huh. So I hope there's this atmosphere of moving the embassy. Uh -huh. And also uh, other things that uh, I think more act, uh, more activities, uh, culture activities, mm -hmm. tourist activities will start and find themselves in Jerusalem as the capital mm -hmm. of Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, all that together, I, I think, uh, and I hope, is a sign to the beginning of a new a new uh, a period of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think that uh, the people in the United States don't understand how much this uh, declaration and this decision, now it's not any more declaration, this decision that you see, mm -hmm. it's happening on the ground, mm -hmm. how much it's giving strength to the people in Jerusalem. Strength people in Jerusalem, the same day that this was declared and the next time, uh, two weeks ago, when the president said it's going to happen, mm -hmm. people in Jerusalem felt proud of themselves mm -hmm. uh, because it's in a, in a time when, unfortunately, our government in Israel and our municipality, and I'm saying as a councilman, we are not doing enough to really to, to, to feel that we are in a united city, uh -huh. a capital of Israel, uh -huh. and suddenly you get this uh, good uh, backwind coming from the United States. Uh -huh. It's something that uh, I think uh, I, I, I saw, I, I saw it, I heard it from the people living in Jerusalem, how much they, suddenly they, they felt so proud that they, they I would say, uh, were um, uplifted. Uplifted, exactly. Uh -huh.